Welcome back to the Chick Shift Garage YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace a PCV valve. So let's get started. Most PCV valves are located somewhere on the valve cover of the engine with a vacuum hose that connects it to the intake manifold. Here, the PCV valve is located towards the back of the engine with a rubber hose clamped between the intake manifold and the PCV valve. To begin removal, we use pliers to squeeze the hose clamp and move it up the vacuum tube. Next, we pull the vacuum tube off the PCV valve. With the vacuum tube out of the way, we can now remove the PCV valve. Some have a large nut that screws into the valve cover, such as this car, while others may just be pushed into the valve cover with a large rubber grommet that holds and seals it in place. Whichever way yours is, make sure to remove it carefully. It's generally suggested that you replace it every 20 to 50,000 miles, but always refer to your specific vehicle's manufacturer for guidance. I give it a quick shake to check to see if it still works. All right, once you make sure your PCV valve is working properly, go ahead and install it. For my vehicle, it just screws into the valve cover and is tightened down to only two foot pounds of torque. Always check with your vehicle's manufacturer for specific tightening instructions. Carefully install the vacuum line over the open end of the PCV valve and push it down as far as it will go. Next, you wanna grab your pliers and squeeze the clamp open and move it down and over the end where the vacuum tube goes over the PCV valve. Repeat those steps for the other side of the vacuum line. Okay, I wanted to show you guys really quick how to make sure the PCV valve is working correctly. So all you have to do is start the vehicle and pull the PCV valve out of the engine and hold your thumb against the bottom of the opening and you should feel a vacuum or suction to it, letting you know that it's working correctly. If you don't feel a vacuum with your thumb, then you'll know that your PCV valve is defective and you need to get it replaced. Once you know it's working, turn the vehicle off and reinstall the PCV valve. All right, we're done. The PCV valve is back on. Everything's good with the car, the engine running right. If you like what you saw, click like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.